Now we take you to Westminster tonight. We want to follow up on that breaking news we brought you here yesterday. That explosion, it rocked a townhome complex. We have new video of when it happened. Jenny Eastman telling us that the huge fire started soon after that explosion. Now, to give you an idea of the location of this fire, it's near 83rd and Sheridan, just west of the Boulder Turnpike area. Jamie Lurie joins us now from there tonight. And Jamie, people out there are certainly asking, what in the world happened? Exactly, and despite how bad the aftermath here looks, we're told that some of the units on the other side can be saved. Investigators continue to look into the cause. They say it might be weeks before we have an answer. But those who live here that we spoke with today have their own idea about what exactly happened. It was scary. Jenny Eastman not only saw the moment of the explosion firsthand, I caught it on my security camera. In the video, you can see her walking to her car. About 30 seconds later, complete chaos. Oh, yeah, I was walking to my car. My car um, was hit with the building when it blew up. And so, um, we're in the process of having it fixed. Um, it was, I mean, it was terrifying. In the video, you can also see a man standing right next to the building as it explodes. There are two other people inside, and somehow only minor injuries are reported. The flames spread quickly. Resident James Downey says his unit was close to catching fire. I rounded the corner and saw the flames, um, jumped in and started helping people uh, knock on doors to try to alert the people that may or may or may not still be in the unit. Both Eastman and Downey believe the cause was natural gas related and say the apartment had hired crews to replace heaters, work that was being done just prior to the explosion. We assume it was because um, they were replacing some of the heating units, but we don't know. As far as I know, that's what they were doing is installing heaters, air conditioning units, uh, hot water heaters. To my knowledge, they're in the process of replacing them all throughout the whole whole place. Investigators say eight units in total sustained damage. A city employee working on scene today said four of those will likely be salvageable, but it will take some time. We're told that some of the residents who've been displaced have already found temporary housing, so that is the good news. But again, this is going to be a while to repair, and we'll continue to follow the story. Live in Westminster, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.